Hi, I'm Mason Allen. I'm the District Wildlife Manager for the Sterling North District up in the northeast corner of the state. Uh, my district encompasses three major hunting units, and that's uh, Units 89, 90, and Units 91. Much of my hunting units is private land, uh, but I first off want to encourage folks to uh, not be afraid to get into Onyx maps and get into plat maps and, um, and find a place, scout, and find a place you might like to hunt and don't knock on doors and to make phone calls um, because there are folks out there that will allow you to hunt private property and much of the eastern plains is is locked up in private property and stuff but it's that's not the the end all be all you can most certainly can um, can find some opportunities out there so with that being said i'll start off with units uh well excuse me with unit 89 um, that's bordered on the on on the west by Weld County on the north by the Colorado Nebraska state line uh, on the east side by highway 113 and on the south side by Highway 14, which is also Main Street that runs into Sterling there. So that's the, the those are the borders of Unit 89. Um, almost entirely private, with the exception of uh, some hunting opportunity, including uh, deer and small game mostly, and um, in addition to that, waterfowl at North Sterling Reservoir. There is no rifle hunting in there. It is um, archery and, and shotguns only uh, just because of the smaller proximity in there, but that is one opportunity in Unit 89 for public, uh, public access. Um, unit 90 is uh, a little bit different. There's a little bit more public access in, in Unit 90. And Unit 90 is bordered on the west by that same Highway 113, uh, again on the north by the Nebraska state line, Colorado-Nebraska line. And um, it's kind of uh, wedged in a pie shape and in, in the south and east border would be Highway 138. And there we have a, a, a decent mix, again, mostly private. Um, as far as public hunting opportunities, um, there are three state wildlife areas that, that fall um, in that area. And, and one of them is our Duck Creek uh, State Wildlife Area. And that is uh, just north right off of uh, Highway 138 and uh, County Road 83. Um, that and, and all of these state wildlife areas that I'm going to talk about in Unit 90 offer the opportunity to get after deer, uh, turkey, uh, waterfowl and small game. Now there's some specific regulations uh, that pertain to each one of those, but I would encourage folks to get into the brochures and and, and look at those regulations and, and understand and know those differences before you go out there. But the opportunities for just about um, any quarry is are out there for those state wildlife areas. Um, so uh, Duck Creek, um, I mentioned the location there. East of Duck Creek, we have a state wildlife area called Red Lion. Um, state wildlife area and it uh, it offers not only hunting opportunities but also fishing opportunities a good fishing opportunity and uh, there is a lake on it and we also have some some shallow uh, wetlands ponds in there um, that is going to be off of county road 95 and just north of highway 138 highway 138 really is a vein for um, all the state wildlife areas i'm going to be talking about right through this section here and um, again, deer, um, potential for turkey. I know there was, there was at least a couple turkeys taken off of there. There's some predator hunting opportunities. We've had a few bobcats come off of there. There's um, plenty of waterfowl. It's a really, it's a premier waterfowl place um, and small game as well. Just north of that, and these are virtually uh, connected you now, a, a divider of a, of a county road. County Road 970 actually divides um, these two state wildlife areas, but um, Jumbo State Wildlife Area exists just north of that Red Lion. So once you get on Highway 138 and you hit County Road 95 and go north, you're going to drive past both of these places. At Jumbo, um, again, another great uh, deer hunting, small game, and waterfowl opportunities. It's important to note that at Jumbo, um, you can hunt ducks out there and uh, it's a great opportunity for ducks but it is a goose closure and that's important to note um, that's been a goose closure for years and years and is kind of going to continue to be a goose closure for years to come um, that encompasses the, the the public ground in unit 90 uh, my third and last unit is unit 91 and that is a river bottom unit again uh, a, a, a a good portion of it private. I, I'd almost call that one more about a half and half because we have two state wildlife areas that exist in Unit 91, and that's the Bravo State Wildlife Area and the Tamarack Ranch State Wildlife Area. Both of those places are fantastic for all of the uh, aforementioned species. Uh, deer, 
turkey, waterfowl, and small game, and plenty of opportunities there. There's some uh, uh, certain uh, license restrictions. Again, I would encourage folks to go to the brochures and understand which um, which licenses apply and which ones do not. Uh, we have an over-the-counter turkey license that only applies to private land. It doesn't it doesn't apply to those state wildlife areas. Um, so the brochures are, are monumental in, in um, knowing what you can and, and, and can't do out in, in these properties out east. Um, and there are a couple of also uh, state trust lands that offer some hunting opportunity. Again, that will exist in the brochures and the public hunting um, lands brochures and encourage folks to look at that. So I uh, hope that helps and happy hunting to everybody.